So look who's at our hotel. This is uh, pretty ridiculous, really. The entire Italian police. We've been busted by the Rosas. It's like the one and only kind of police confederation event in Italy. And every room in the hotel, apart from ours, is filled with police or carabinieri. Yeah? Uh, Miss Guzzi, may I take a picture of your motorcycle? Grazie. Right, uh, quick update. We're um, Slovenia, I think. And I'm ashamed to say it's actually my first time ever visiting parts of sort of Eastern Europe, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm glad we're sort of driving through it to get such a great view. Oh, is that the local Federales? Don't know what it is. Don't know. Oh, look at this! Nice! Nice it is. Very nice. Very pretty. Greenery. I'm boring myself now. Fuck knows why anyone else would want to watch it. Well, uh, just, uh, there's probably flies and shit all over the visor, but. Uh, the visor, the um, camera lens, or whatever. We're uh, in Slovenia. Uh, and these roads are fucking lovely. Double bloody love it. And we're heading for um, Slovonsky Broad. This is on the border of, I think it's Croatia and Bosnia Herzegovina. But this is where, for me now, the trip really comes alive. It's into what it, what I think it should be. And all the kind of done all the sponsoring crap, and now it's just right. You guys have got to do it now. You've got to go and, go and fucking nail it. Oh jeez there Louise, bit of a lorry sandwich up ahead you know, there's not much you're going to do about that is there, fair income no, I see, let's have a little stretch, not a bad idea, don't mind if I do myself there no sport. Um, excuse me, do you, do you sell um, paracetamol for like bad head, Ooh, um, like a little pill, uh, par paracetamol, yeah, Neurofen? Neurofen. ibuprofen, no. Actually, I'm going to get some lip balm because uh, I was getting really, oh, really dry lips. Huala, huala, huala. We're 35 miles away from our destination, and uh, I need a beer. But it's been a lovely day today. Actually, it's been a really nice ride. No pressure. Yeah, it's quite beautiful, really. This sky is madness. Probably got loads of flies on the lens, sorry about that, but that's the way it is. Uh, first rest day, we're in Croatia. We stayed at this really cool hotel last night. Completely random, quite out there, actually. Um, family run thing, home cooking, quite Bavarian, uh, very rustic, bizarre styling, but that's what makes it fucking cool. Bolskin. So this is our hotel. It's mentally weird, but brilliant and genius at the same time. So we're in uh, Croatia, in a town called Slavonski Brod. Brod. Slavonski Brod. And it's the day before the challenge, um, which is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. And uh, I've got an interesting story for you, actually. So years ago, I'm just waiting for Charlie to stop faffing. So years ago, uh, my dad, uh, this is in 1969, he had this MGB convertible and he was seeing this, this young lady and he had this amazing idea of just driving to Athens for like a holiday. And then he got down into Eastern Europe and he was overtaking this lorry, pulled in in front of the lorry, and then out of nowhere this policeman just jumped out into the road waving, going, oh, stop, stop, stop. And I don't know why the policeman did it, but he jumped out into the path of the lorry. And this is a bit of a morbid story, by the way. And just went straight under the wheels of the lorry, dead. And uh, so my dad saw this happening in the mirror, so he pulled over. And then all these kind of villagers came out the fields with all their, like, sharp tools and knives and all this stuff. 
and um, so he was like, hang on a minute, I'm in a convertible car, I'm going to get absolutely lynched here. So he thought wise to just carry on to the next town, to the police station, which he did. So he went to the next town, was like, look, this accident happened, you know, blah, 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 and they're like, okay, right, well, so they held him, held him there. And it turns out the lorry driver, he said that my dad knocked the policeman into his lorry. So anyway, so they held him hostage in Eastern Europe for two weeks. And once a day, he was allowed out to go and smoke a cigarette. So he used to go down to this bridge. And this is in 1969, and this was just, you know, there's a lot of tensions and shit going on. And uh, so he went out, smoked his one cigarette a day, by this point, the bird had fucked off, by the way, and just gone, fuck this, and left. So two weeks later, after, like, the town hall trial and all this shit, and it's dangerous, you know, that's like, you, you're going to get in serious fucking shit for doing that if they found him guilty. And what got him off is that his car was just covered in shit from driving from England, and there was no marks on the bodywork at all. Nothing. No scuffs, no nothing. So when the lorry driver was lying and said, oh, that my dad knocked him under the wheels of that, it was kind of proved to be otherwise, because there was just zero marks. So eventually he got off. And uh, I texted him yesterday and just said, oh yeah, hey dad, you know, we're, um, we're in this strange Eastern European town called Slavinsky Brod. And he was like, you're joking. I was like, what? This is that very same fucking town in the middle of fucking nowhere that we are in right now and we're starting our little challenge from. How fucking weird is that? How weird is that? And it's just funny little weird little twists of fate like that that are just, that entertain me, I must say. But I tell you one thing, is that I do not want to get done for doing anything bad here. Um, so yeah, so that was an interesting story. Baron's funny stories. So I'm going to go down into the town now and I'm going to find that bridge that my dad stood on in 1969 in fear for his, literally his life and um, go and take some photos. I know it's kind of a dark thing, but you know, you, times have moved on, you've got to change, you know. It's, it's just be interesting to see. And, I, and maybe it was a subconscious thing that when he was telling me the story, the name of this town stuck in my head. And that's why yesterday when we were looking at the maps, we were like, oh yeah, well, let's go there. So yeah, so I'm not going to overtake, I'm not going to filter, I am not going to do shit because it's kind of, in a weird way, it sent kind of a bit shivery sort of shit down my spine. You know, I don't want to be, just do not want to be recreating a family tradition here. So I'm really trying to concentrate on what I'm doing and just be the biggest fanny around. So anyway, why are we here? Hey baby, fuck yeah. So rather than doing the traditional let's just go out and get fucked up and, you know, whatever. I thought, let's just do a challenge. Let's do something that's, that's hard to do, you know, and let's, let's, let's try and create something interesting and good. What we're trying to do, Charlie behind me, and why I'm on this massive bike as well, is because we're going to try and visit as many countries as we can in 24 hours. And uh, whether it's a world record or not, we tried to get Guinness involved, but they don't ratify point-to-point -point timed things because they say it's small health and safety, it's dangerous for everyone. So, um, so it's just going to be, a, it's not a record as such, it's a challenge. So if you guys think you can do better, by all means, give it a go. That's why we've got these beasts. They've got big tanks on, 30 litres. Uh, you can get 300 mile tank range at the right speed. There's a link to a live tracker device, which we're having some issues with, but we're going to try and sort it out. Uh, I'll put that link in the description right now. And the, for, the use, for those of you on YouTube who don't know what a description is, it contains all the vital information, probably answer to most of your questions that you ask. Um, so that is just down there. Um, so wish us luck, basically, and the next time you see us, we'll be in Holland. Hopefully. I'm not going to make... I just After that story, I just don't want to make any bad moves here. That's all. I feel a bit wobbly. We're not going to go stupid. I think the record in a car is something like 17, but that's unbelievable. Look how fit the girls are here. Their bodies are just so much better than English ones. England, it's all just like KFC and fucking shit. So anyway, yeah, 14 countries, 24 hours, and um, I'll see you on the other side.